Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, having a good understanding of your net worth is really gonna help you understand your personal financial successes. Especially in today's economy, understanding your net worth is very important to understanding where you stand in terms of reaching your financial goals. Having your net worth written down somewhere and broken up into its individual components is going to be so important to understanding your financial reality and again, how far off or close you are to reaching your financial goals. Now that we have a better understanding of what net worth is or why it's important rather, let's break it down into its individual components. And at a very basic level, your net worth is going to be made up of assets and liabilities. Looking at assets, assets can be either fixed or liquid for the most part. A fixed asset is going to be something like your home or maybe a rental property or other property you own. Really something that you can't turn into cash super quickly necessarily or go spend right away. Uh, on the flip side of that, we also have what we call liquid assets. So this is going to represent things like cash or maybe investments that you hold personally or through employer savings programs. These are things that if needed, you could really convert to cash really quickly and spend if needed. And then the opposite of assets are going to be liabilities and liabilities are kind of considered to be the counterweight of assets. These represent any financial obligations that you have, such as a, a mortgage on a home or maybe a personal line of credit. And managing liabilities is not just about paying down the debt, but it's also about having a good financial structure for that debt or those obligations. Now that we know what our assets are and our liabilities are, let's talk about how we can start to build out a net worth statement for ourselves. So when figuring out or calculating what your net worth is, you're gonna wanna add up all of your assets, both liquid and fixed, and all of your obligations, like mortgages, lines of credit, credit cards, student loans, things like that. And you're simply going to take all of your assets and subtract from that all of your financial obligations. So for example, someone with a million dollars worth of fixed assets and liquid assets and $200,000 worth of debt obligations would have a net worth of $800,000. So I'll go through a couple of examples. Uh, you might build out your net worth and realize that, wow, I have a really high net worth. But when you look at the pieces that make up that net worth, you find that it's all fixed assets and that you have very, very little liquid assets. If that's the case, you might realize that you're gonna be in a bit of trouble if an unexpected expenditure comes up or you need to start spending more of your savings. You can't just sell off little bits of your fixed assets to get cash flow necessarily. And so this might prompt you to want to start saving more liquid assets and so that money is available to fund future expenditures if you don't have any intention of selling your fixed assets. Or you might look at your net worth statement and realize that it's negative. In other words, your financial obligations are greater than the assets that you have. And you can start taking a look at, well, what are those financial obligations and what are those costing me each month? Perhaps it might make sense to pull some of your liquid assets to pay off some of those debt obligations to relieve some of your cash flow each month so that you can start saving more again in the future. So if after watching this video, you're still not sure about how to build a net worth statement or whether it's in a healthy balance, please feel free to book a consultation with us and there is a link below in our description. Be sure to check out the link in our bio for the full article and also where we regularly post market updates and financial tips like this. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.